What's up, guys? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Godzilla versus... No, not Godzilla. T-Rex versus Kong. Haven't done Kong in a while. So, thought I'd do a versus one. Um, I have a Godzilla versus Kong video as well, if you want to watch that one. It's kind of the same pose for Kong, anyway, and then the T-Rex coming across here. So, we'll start with Kong. Uh, landscape page, pencil and eraser. Sketch it out lightly. You can always do your ink on top afterwards, right? So we're gonna start with Kong and his big round head. No offense, Kong. But he's frowning, right? So you do this kind of curved line just here. Right, I'm in the sort of top half up here, right? His head's kind of up here. And this is gonna bump around, right, his eye. So we go down like this. And then it curve back around up to here. Okay, so then we've got um, underneath this, right? So his eye is like in this gap just inside here, right? So you're going to curve it around. Like that's the front of his eye. It's real small. And then it goes back that way. And then his pupil is kind of just here in the front looking forward and then you might have some eye lines like coming around it like some wrinkles and stuff you can see it's pretty wrinkly and out at the front of that we have his nose coming out so coming out from his brow just here and then his nose kind of curves around like this So the outside of his nostril just comes around here. So like so, and then there's like a dark shadow on his nostril in there. And this can be wrinkly sort of line as well. And he's got like all these wrinkles on his nose coming in here too. Some bags kind of underneath his eye all these wrinkles on his nose coming around his eye and all in here he's got wrinkles on his forehead as well so this is all sort of wrinkly and textured and stuff there seems to be like another sort of section there right like so so his mouth, so it like this, this will eventually join like his head as well. So it like curves up that way. Like his head will go up and off around that way. But we'll just finish his mouth and stuff first. So say coming out from his nose, he's open mouth, roaring real loud, okay? So that comes out top lip there. And then this is gonna curve around like really big, a lot bigger than you think, okay? So it goes like back this way. Right. Whoa. Real big mouth. And then bottom lip curves around here. And then this will start to get sort of hairy down here, right? What we'll do is fangs and teeth and stuff inside here. So we've got like a real big fang here. And it looks like another small one back, a couple back there. And then at the front, so his gum line kind of comes out this way. And then we have like a flat sort of tooth at the front here. Then another one behind it. So his gum line then comes out here. Then we have another fang in behind that we can just see sort of there. And then at the bottom down here, so we can see like a big fang sticking out here first. Like so, and then some smaller teeth sticking out the front, just sort of around here. And then another fang on the other side, right there like that. 
Now we can see his tongue and sort of the other side of his mouth. So the other side of his mouth curves down this way. There might be some texture on his teeth, you know, gnarly sort of teeth. And we'll put his tongue just in there. There's been another line that way. Okay, and you might want to add like some drool or something. Coming down from here. Okay, and then on his lip, you could have like some lots of these sort of texture lines and stuff. Like, trying to give him that simian sort of look and mouth. As much of that as you want. And like a bottom lip line or something here. Some more texture coming around that way. Like so. Right, so he's got he's got a real big hairy chin, right? So it's like a beard kind of thing. Comes around here and like joins his jaw. And again, quite big. this way this goes up with a square all the way up to his ear I think yeah. like that right and then his hair comes around his head right on this side so this is like skin and it comes around like his eye to his cheek So, and this will go like all the way around his face, really. All the way down here. It might be like a cheekbone sort of area coming around here towards his ear. Like another sort of line coming down this way. And if you want, like, you can add hair all like on the inside, like all these sort of little sort of hair texture lines. Just to sort of show that it's kind of spiky in here and inside here. Roughly like that. Right, and then his chest comes down sort of from his chin here. We might as well do this part first. So it comes down like so. And then we meet his stomach coming down here and like his knee or something coming across like that right? so that's like the shape for his body just there at the side and then his head so we do his head going around this can be a hairy sort of line if i'm going too fast now just say pause all right we keep going so just around this way, kind of off that way, like correct, kind of. Down to there, yeah. And then like, sort of hairline for his head, kind of done coming down with hair, just going this way. So, so what we can see of his, oh no, his ear, I nearly forgot his ear. His ear curves around real small. Just in here. And bones and ligaments and things in the inside. Easiest way is always just this like letter J sort of thing. But if you want, you can add more. Like maybe a shadow or something in here. Right, but there you go and then like texture lines on his head if you want you know just for just to show he's kind of hairy and furry and stuff like so so chest so his chest will come 
in here and like the center line for his chest will be roughly sort of here because the center line that way and his other chest muscle should go back here somewhere and then maybe like abdominal lines like so like that and we give him a nipple here and a nipple there you can't see it all and then like his neck is kind of coming down from here sort of into the top of his chest top of his chest will go that way so more sort of neck muscle lines there and like a collarbone or something in here all right so Right, and then like some more fur coming across his chest here. Like so, and like another sort of tra trapezius sort of hatching line shadows that way and if you want you can add sort of his arm coming sort of down here maybe coming out from his chin he's a real big white arm some forearm muscle lines maybe just like that he's furry now so There, like so right so that's Kong we'll go over and do our T-Rex now so I've just got move an image there and we'll go here oh before I finish Kong actually and um, we'll just add some chest muscle lines here and his scars right so he's got like triple scars so one it's fun to add scars on characters like this. Two, three, so it's like a claw mark and it actually comes down his stomach as well. You can add sort of texture lines on the inside of that. Okay, so our T-Rex. So so he's big, wide mouth, okay? Roaring, sort of head tilted up this way. Okay, so we want his teeth to be like here. His top jaw and his bottom jaw about there as well. So we're still here, right? So the eye will be back a little bit. So we'll go, yeah, we'll just draw a simple sort of eye shape first. This kind of standard sort of, always reminds me of, of an almond or like a bean or something, you know, like a grain of rice or something like that. And we'll put his eye looking right at Godzilla there. We'll do sort of the same thing. So we'll go. All right, just looking that way. And then some lines around. So we got like eyelid line here, eyelid line at the bottom, wrinkly sort of stuff. As much of this as you want now. So, coming around, and he's got, so he's got like a big bumping sort of frowning section coming down here. So let's see, we'll go. Like this, and it like frowns down this way. So it's real.
this way. It stops about there, right? And then it goes back. It gets kind of wider as we go back. And goes up around the forehead here and down the back. has a line that comes down around his eye, down this way, joins like the back of his jaw, just here, right? And this has all like, um, like scales and bumps and stuff on it. Sort of like this kind of stuff. Just gradually get smaller as we go down this way. So then he's like got a frowning line. Okay. This kind of thing. Then we go this sort of cheek sort of area. Let's go down there like that. Okay, so then like the top of his snout kind of comes out, bumps out from around behind there, right? So we've got like sort of extra sort of bumping lines coming down from behind the back. And then it starts to really stick up real far here. It comes down, lots of scales and this goes down like so. Up a little bit. We add some wrinkles here. So I think he needs them. Sticking this up a little bit. Shadow underneath his eye. Underneath his brow, anyway, there. Okay, so will join the back of his jaw just up to there, right? So it kind of like curves in and sticks out. And then it will go, kind of go around here, up this way. We're gonna travel it all the way up to there, right? Goes around here. Up like so. Around like that. Right, so that's like the top of his head. And then we got like all these bumping lines that go the whole way around. This top lip sort of thing. Right, and his nostril just here, just like a long sort of shadow. Like the whole like some like texture around it and things. And like some more lines coming up here. And then he has that sort of round area that some of these dinosaurs have on their snouts. It's just like a it's like this oval sort of thing just here. And then sort of lines, you know, it's texture and stuff, scales and stuff like that, as much of this kind of texture you want to do now.
Right, so that's at least the top of his head done. Okay, so his bottom jaw then, right, will come down from here. So it comes around from this. Real long, so wide open mouth, right? Okay, so this is the starts of his bottom jaw. And then it curves up down that way. And the underneath, like so, comes around to here. And there's loads of teeth, right? But the bottom jaw comes around like this. Like that, and then again, we've got like all this scaly stuff, uh, lots of texture, bumps, and scales. And and then more texture down here, like as much. As you want, and like these sort of cir clusters of sort of circles do help it look like a kind of a, you know, reptile sort of skin, right? Speaking of skin, we've got that thing on the side of his mouth. So it starts just here, sort of skin line down to there and it's got like lots of this sort of skin line stuff like so right so now teeth right we'll do the bottom teeth first just to, I think it's easier so we'll just add lots of these sharp sort of teeth depending on the kind of dinosaur you're doing sometimes they're round you know but um, depending on what kind of T-Rex you like to do, you know? Like so, and then these come down then un and go underneath his tongue, but we can see some just on the other side here. You know, the other side of his mouth. Just kind of disappearing into his gum back here. Add as much as you want. So his tongue comes out here. And then it disappears back into his mouth, like down there. And you've got like an extra sort of line coming up the middle of it. And there's like all this texture and stuff on it as well. And another tooth just here. Right, like that, and then we do the teeth on top. So we're getting real small to begin with. But then they get monstrously big. And then we go up here. So like, say like here, usually this sort of canine, it's in the kind of same position that humans' canines are in. So that's usually like the biggest one. And they get progressively bigger and smaller. around from here. Real small, like up in the middle. Right there. And we, we can see um, the teeth coming around underneath here as well, right? So, we kind of see the underneath of his mouth, right? So the other side of his mouth, just comes up here. And you kind of see his gum line just coming across here, underneath these teeth, for the other side of his mouth. So we'll draw that in. Right. 
just finish them in the clothes. Up to there, right? And again, so there's like skin lines and things inside here. So that the roof is matte kind of. And there's all teeth that come out from here, but maybe we can see some skin at the side of his face. And then teeth, right? So the teeth come out from his gum. This. Like again, the canine on the other side, the big one. Just there. And then they get smaller. there right so okay so then add as much texture and stuff there as you want okay and again drool I think drool is always a good thing with like T-Rexes and stuff. So it's just these lines, see? Uh, the piece of the drool coming down from his mouth there. Okay, just a drool line coming from his tongue. Like that. Maybe we'll put some scars on him as well. Like so, okay, so back of his head, so back of his head, mm, like here, right? I think coming out from his brow there, like that, somewhere anyway. And this will go down. Kind of bumping, maybe. Well, it doesn't have to be bumping, but. that way and then the front of his neck is here kind of a wrinkly sort of thing down and out there right and then there is um, sort of extra veins and things coming down so like these kinds of lines just coming down here. Maybe like a shoulder line or something here. So like one there and then one coming down from his jaw. And they're kind of bumpy and stuff like that. I think the head should be bigger. No. Be rounder. Not sure, I don't like this line, I'm gonna change it, sorry. So I just erased this headline, I think it should be more bumpy, but I'm just gonna, while I'm waiting for my tippex to dry, I'm just gonna add some weight to these, add some shadow to these main lines. Just coming down here. Sorry, that was a bit of a mistake. I just, well, it you would have been able to get away with it, it's just that I, I'm sort of, I'm picky. I just didn't like the way it looked. I think he needs more of a dome sort of shape here for like his skull first. Right, and then like here on his neck, we got like some more sort of bumping kind of necklines just coming down here. Like so, and then some texture lines going this way on his neck here. like the outside edge of these. Right, and then just we'll try and do just this line again. Hopefully my t 
tipex is a bit drier. And let's just make this a little bit roll around just here. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. So it just bumps around and then moves down the back of his head just there. And then we just have to add like kind of a spine line or something here. And then these sort of texture lines go up the back of his neck. Just going out. I know that didn't make much of a difference, but I wouldn't have been able to live with myself. <laughs> so just loads of texture here. Like that. And then you can thicken up some edge lines if you want. just to make him stand out maybe a little bit more. And maybe do the same on Kong, maybe. Just on his arm. So sometimes adding like thicker lines to characters like this in various places can add some shadow and things and make things just a little bit more interesting. Right, but I think that's the best I can do. That is how to draw King Kong or Kong, as he's known now. He was always King, King Kong when I was young, versus a T-Rex. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.